Hello again. I've received some positive feedback after the first movie, so I decided to um, to prepare a 4K version of it and add some some more content to it. It took me um, three uh, three days to add two additional scenes to the um, to the final piece. This time um, I was pretty confident what I'm I'm going to create. I just wanted to experiment a little more with with lighting, basically. As in the previous movie, there are no baked lights uh, in that, so everything is, is real-time. I've used some additional assets from the asset store, so I'll just go um, through both scenes stage by stage and try to explain how I did it the best I can. For the second scene, uh, I started with a simple house at the rain uh, with uh, CTS um, materials on it. I've added a few trees and I've added uh, the HX volumetric lighting to the scene. I knew I wanted to have a billboard there. Uh, I didn't have a final graphic for it uh, just yet, so I just used one of the Manufactura K4 uh, assets. I believe it, the one was from, from the uh, Postapo uh, pack. I've also added uh, some roads from the suburban um, house package. Next I've added my car model because uh, I just wanted to balance the um, damage a little bit more. Then I've added some fence and um, net in the, in the foreground and some houses in the background. I have to admit that I really like those power lines so uh, I'm, I'm adding them everywhere. That was the time to add my characters to the scene just to uh, and, and, I mean, position them and, uh, and, and check if everything is, uh, is right. Here I've added um, a second house on the right of the image. Um, just to um, make that tree less visible there. Here I've begun to um, to change the billboard. I've struggled with it a bit. Um, I prepared a simple graphic and I was just thinking about the right color. Here's the final billboard and I've also added a car uh, there just to block the view. At that stage I've decided that I will turn that suburbs into something more like a ghetto. Uh, so there's a guard tower there. Here I'm just adding more details to the background, some, some more houses and basically more detail. It's time for the foreground and the vegetation, so I'm just adding some grass and some, uh, yeah, again, more detail. I have also added some barbed wires. And this is the final image. I thought that it would be a good idea to add a welcome sign um, on the top of the gate. Okay, this is uh, the last third scene. I knew I wanted to have uh, my terminal there, uh, so I just uh, started. Um, actually, with the first scene, uh, I took the, the lighting from, from there. Uh, I have a, just, just one lamp and I've, I've tried to uh, figure out the lighting. It took some time and, and experiments to, um, to get it just right. I knew I wanted to have a billboard there. Uh, I didn't have a final graphic for it uh, just yet, so I just used... I needed some borders to the scene, so, um, so I just added a fence. Just, yeah, just a, just a simple fence. I thought that uh, it's going to be better that the computer terminal will be some kind of a building. Here I've added um, the roof and some satellite dishes up. I've also added uh, a wall on the left side of the image. It was the time to add and pose my characters and to uh, see if everything fits. I wanted the girl to talk with the robot through the terminal, so I had to uh, create the terminal UI and write a simple script to write the text. Here I added some background elements to the scene just to introduce some uh, color variation. I've also added my beloved um, net into the foreground. Here I've modified the net a bit and I've added more background elements. Obviously, those are the power lines. Next, I simply added some more details. And this is the final scene with um, additional elements added main mainly as some vegetation and as some garbage. Okay, so this is the end. Uh, of the um, part two of the making of. Uh, I hope you liked it and I also hope I will finally start making this game. Cheers!